everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you through some of the upgrades that I've made to the studio. So it's been about a year now since I've gotten into the space and since I posted my first studio tour video it's racked up over 18,000 views which is crazy. Uh, I thought I'd just give an update now that I've been here for a year what upgrades that I've made since then and what I'm doing now. So before I get into the updated tour of this design studio, I just wanted to answer the top question from my previous video, which is, where's your bedroom, where's your bathroom, where's your kitchen? Uh, the answer to that is none of that is in here because this is my design studio. Consider this like my office where I come to work. I have a separate apartment in Brooklyn where I live, but yeah, none of that stuff is gonna be in here. This is pr primarily just a studio built out to be my workspace. All right, so to give you an idea of how big this space actually is, it is eight feet wide by 12 feet deep. So that's 96 square feet, a little bit under 100 square feet. So that's the space that I'm working with and I wanted to make it as efficient as possible, try and get as much stuff in here that would help me in my workflow. Uh, but yeah, that's an idea of how big the overall space is. All right, so to start the tour off, we're starting here at the front door. So this is where I hang my coat. When I first come in, we've got some uh, hangers up here and I also have uh, my camera backpack here for easy access. If I need to uh, take a bunch of camera gear out, uh, I've got the backpack ready to go here in the front door. Uh, but next to the door, we've got this additional cabinet. So this is new since the previous uh, studio tour. It's for some additional storage stuff that I don't use so often but need down here and don't want to have to go up top to grab. Um, it's all stored down here. We've got the Apple HomePod, which is also new. This is how I play music here in the studio when I'm working. We've moved the air purifier up here too by the front door. Um, and we've got a little organizer back there to hang up my keys and my masks when I come in. Moving on, we've got these two cubbies here and I've got a ton of magazines. So uh, over the past couple weeks, I've been collecting some magazines from friends who no longer need them. I have ideas for some collaging projects, which I'll feature in a upcoming video. I have some ideas of what I wanna do in terms of collaging. Uh, so got all those magazines there. Uh, we've got this bag back here, which is some additional lighting equipment so i have that down here uh, so if i want to quickly set up some additional lighting all of that is there in that bag ready to go uh, we've still got this plug here so uh, if i ever bike to the studio i could easily put my bike up there which you saw in the uh, previous studio tour that's still there so up there i have a gopro hero 7 that's my old gopro I have it set up there because I've been experimenting with some studio live streams and I thought it would be cool to have a camera which shows the overall studio. So uh, that's why that camera is up there. And moving on to the next section, we have this light here. So this is uh, my new studio light, which I've been using for a little bit. It is the Godox SL60W. It is set up here. Um, just ready to go whenever I need some additional lighting inside here when I'm recording videos or doing photography. Uh, and this little station here has been primarily unchanged. Uh, we've got the bench here for when I come in and change out of my shoes and into uh, my work works. Um, that's where I'll do that. We've still got this big pegboard here. If you're not familiar with uh, why I put this up here, there is a door that goes into the next unit over, uh, which is a different tenant. So I have no intention of using that door. So we've covered it up with a pegboard that is meant to be more for utility. So right now I'm just hanging some additional clothes, another hat, my backpack, instead of having like one of those coat racks, uh, using this instead. Uh, bench is still the same. We've got some microphone gear underneath there in a, another box. So moving on, we still have this cabinet here, which is for more of my frequently used items. Uh, they're easy to get to. They're right next to my computer workstation. Uh, the cabinet is still there. On top, we now have the Silhouette Cameo 4, which you saw in a previous video, which I used to make stickers and cut other types of various things. So. Uh, that's what we have going on here. Uh, moving up, this uh, arrangement of tiles up here is still the same from the previous video. So these are what are called Sola tiles. They're just these felt sound absorption tiles, which I have to help 
uh, soften up this big wall here. All right, so we are now moving on to my workstation. Over here, we've got a brand new chair. Uh, I used to use a dining chair, but now that I'm spending a lot more time here, I need to get a better chair that's better for my back and for sitting for long periods of time. So I picked up this steel case gesture. Uh, it has been pretty great so far, um, but that is the chair that I am now currently using. Uh, and I think this area is the part that has changed the most. Everything else has generally changed the same since my last video, but my workstation has evolved. And that's been mainly because of COVID. Uh, when I first got into the studio, it was more of just like a supplement to my normal everyday uh, work schedule. I was still going to work in Manhattan and I was going, only coming here about once or twice per week. But now because of COVID, I've been almost exclusively working here full time. Uh, so I had to make some upgrades to my workstation. Uh, so the big thing that is different here is we've got an additional monitor set up and that is all being powered by my PC, which I have brought here to the studio. Uh, you may have seen it in a previous video where I said that I was using it for storage for all of my archival videos and photos, but now it is here in the studio and almost serving as my dedicated uh, video conferencing uh, machine. So with that, we've got this additional monitor, which this entire setup is powered by the PC, while this uh, is powered by uh, my MacBook Pro, which I bring in here. And as far as the setup goes, we have a Sony RX100 here, which is serving as my webcam. And we've got my Audio-Technica audio, audio uh, microphone, AT2020. Uh, as my audio with the Behringer back there as my audio interface. So uh, that used to be my uh, four-way podcasting uh, audio collection. I could still use that. I could easily unhook it from there and put it onto the table if I did want to do a podcast. But for now, it is powering my uh, audio setup for my video calls and all that stuff that I need to do for work. Uh, this is also set up to do live streaming, so if I wanted to do some design live streams using high quality audio and also uh, some better quality than webcam video, that's all set up here. Um, as far as like what I'm using here, if you're into mechanical keyboards, I'm using the Ann Pro 2. Um, this actually lights up as well. Um, and for the mouse, I am trying out this Microsoft Surface Arc. I really like the Magic Mouse with the touch surface, so I'm trying to find an alternative for PC, and I've landed on this Microsoft Arc mouse, which has been uh, going pretty well so far. Uh, we've got the Google Home here, just in case I need to ask some questions about the weather, it's there. I'm using the CalDigit uh, TS5 dock for uh, my MacBook, and we've got an iPad mini here, so when I'm playing music, uh, I just set it up here, play it on there, and it streams it over to the HomePod. Uh, we are still using these desk organizers here from Muji. We've got some notebooks there. Um, in this little uh, drawer is all excess wires and adapters and little knickknacks like that. And we've also got some pens. Uh, as far as the way this camera is set up, we have it we've got a double mount situation here. We've got the mount that is holding up the monitor. And then we've got this little arm attachment that is holding up the RX100 to serve as my uh, video webcam. But yeah, that's the updated workstation. All right, moving on, we've got a pretty tall window here, which has a beautiful view of Long Island City. I recorded a video out the window earlier today just to get an idea of what that view looks like. Uh, but now we've got two curtains set up here. We've got this white shear which kind of blocks out some harsh direct sunlight that's coming in through this window if I need to. And then we also have this blackout curtain. So if I want to control the light and I want to use indoor lighting with no natural light, I could just close that curtain up and block out all the natural light and uh, be able to control the lighting in here. Below we've got these two stools, still the same. They match up with the uh, bench that's in the front, but that's just some additional decorative stools if I, I need them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move on over to the lounge area. Now, I still have this nice little uh, seat here with these extra 
soft cushions. This is from Ikea, still using that. Up here we've got two headphones. So this is kind of my like listening station if I need to, but these microphones could also be used when I set up the podcasting so we could monitor ourselves if we're recording, but I just wanted to have those out and showing. Uh, we've added the clock up there, which I got in the Philippines. And we've added these two cubbies now, and we've got a bunch of plants. I wanted to start bringing some, some plants and some greenery in here. So we've got that up here. And below, we've got some books. So I brought a bunch of books in here. There's some design photography books in here, and then some general books that I just happen to have. Got the new Barack Obama book, some uh, manga, and also uh, poker books, some, some non-design, but books that I also own over there. Um, in the bottom shelves, we've got some old cameras. That's an old Polaroid, which I got from my parents. This is an old uh, Canon camcorder, which I owned a long time ago when I was just starting out getting into video. Uh, and the other areas where I keep my digital cameras. So right now you could see my lenses and my Sony a6300, uh, the camera that I'm shooting on right now. The uh, Sony a7 III will go there when I'm not using it. Uh, but yeah, so if I ever need to relax and chill out, I could just sit down here. All right, so as far as this table here in the middle of the room, this is kind of my table to do a lot of hands-on craft type of stuff, which is why I have this cutting mat on top. So as far as the collaging that I mentioned before that I want to do and making the stickers, making some die cuts, uh, I could do that all here, get, get them on the table using my hands. And I could still do podcasts or audio recording here, so I've got these microphones with these uh, table stands, so I could easily set these up and record a podcast here on the table just by bringing the audio interface over here. And we've just got a plant and also an electric kettle to boil some water here on this table. Um, but yeah, I see this as being more of my hands-on crafty type of table. All right, so to explain what we got going on on this back wall, which has remained mostly unchanged, uh, we still have the same layout here with the sound absorption tiles and the two canvases, which has my, as required, uh, red and uh, blue pattern. Uh, I changed the black foam sound absorption tiles for these gray solar tiles to match up what I did back here, so I just ordered more of those, I thought it would bring the whole thing together since I do have a bunch of other gray accents across here. I thought that matched up better than having these big uh, black foam tire tiles up here on this back wall. But yeah, that for the most part stayed mostly the same. All right, so this is one of my favorite parts of the studio, which is this color seamless setup that I have up here. Uh, right now I have a bone color and then a black one behind, uh, but I pretty much set up these uh, curtain rods which I got from Ikea and I drill them into the little ledge that is for my storage and it could house these color seamlesses which I could just roll down if I ever wanted to do some photo or video on a solid color uh, could easily do that with that setup up there so that's one of my favorite pieces uh, above that yeah of course is the storage so I brought a lot of stuff here for storage uh, up there you'll see my giant softbox, which is for my Godox SL60. Uh, I don't like having to collapse that and reset it up, so I just have it already set up there and all I need to do is go up there, bring it down, and it's ready to use on the light. So the last thing that I'm going to share with you is the hue lights that I have set up in here. So I do have some colored lighting that I could use for various situations to just, you know, set up an interesting, cool looking mood or a cool backdrop for when I'm on my video calls or live streaming. Um, but I'm going to turn those on right now. Um, so we've got two lights there that are behind the plants. And then we've got these lights that are set up here at the entrance. So I thought it would just be cool to add those in here. So I have some interesting uh, mood lighting, which I could change any color. All right, so that about wraps it up for my 2020 studio update tour. Uh, I hope you could see how the studio is gradually evolving based on my needs. I hope uh, you like it. You can see the differences that has happened since the last studio tour video. And if you like these videos or you're very curious about what is gonna be coming out of the studio uh, in the coming year, I have a lot of ideas and, and things that I'm gonna be recording of projects that I'm gonna be working on outside of the studio. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, please like it. Otherwise, I will catch you in my next video.